STEAM is an educational framework that brings reality into the classroom. It connects the different subjects together in the way that they would relate to the business world and to each other. S is for science, T is for technology, E is for um, engineering, and A is for arts, and M is for math. So it's science and technology interpreted through engineering and the arts, all based in a language of mathematics. It connects the different subjects together in the way that they would relate to each other. I like it because you get to think and create. When you get to see it in action, you have to see the students do what they do. They think with their hands. It's a grand opportunity. It's just creating those 21st century skills that our students need. So that's what we gear STEAM toward for our students. We came up with an idea we saw online about how some students have been building arcade games um, strictly using cardboard boxes and tape. And so they have to be very innovative in trying to figure out different ways to make things using those materials only. So what could we do to keep these up a little bit more? We could just get some cardboard underneath. Yeah, so why don't we prop it up with some cardboard? That's a great idea. That I want to be an arcade designer when I grow up. They've had a good time, they've been extremely engaged, and it's been a great problem-solving activity where they have to figure out alternative ways to make things. It's just so great for the kids to be creative and use their imagination and see how arts can be involved in engineering and math and all these other careers. We the arts include the social arts, the manual arts, the physical arts, and the fine arts. To be a successful STEAM program, you realize that integration is the key, meaning that from classroom to classroom, these concepts have to carry on to each other, they have to tie into each other for things to really relate and to make sense. That's how you're gonna reach every student, you're gonna reach every type of learner when things are integrated and fully connected. Right now, you're going to balance this butterfly on the end of this pencil. Okay, so it's a simple machine. <laughs> so we start out small with just small things that you have to balance. And they get to go, when they go in PE one day, they'll get to make structures using their bodies. And they have to balance. But our, what we're working up to is our culminating activity where we're going to the Space and Rocket Center. So before we get to go there, we're going to actually make rockets and launch them. And everything that we do, we always write about it. I need you to write three sentences about balancing. I developed STEAM in 2006 while I was a graduate student. I started using it in 2007 and I kind of worked the kinks out of it myself in the classroom for the few years. So I started doing trainings on it in 2008. So when schools come to me and they want their teachers to be trained in STEAM, what they're really looking for is for me to help them make that mental shift to start taking their curriculum and expand it to be STEAM. We thought we knew what STEAM was, but until you really try and have Georgette to show you how these disciplines are really related, how mathematics is the through line of life, what technology really means, that it's just it's the tools that you're using and, and how we can relate all these things together. Georgette Yakman was so phenomenal because she gave us a wealth and a plethora of knowledge that we needed to actually branch our STEM school. The most important thing for me was connecting students with careers. Um, that were based on STEAM. So I want to stay in school and learn more about engineering and robots so I can be an engineer, engineer when I grow up. I want to be an engineer too. Make the world a better place. People ask me all the time, what's a good way to teach STEAM? And I use the game of Go. It's left and right brain developed. It's artistic. It's mathematical. It's the Asian equivalent of chess. paradigm shift. It's opening your eyes to a different way of doing it. And once you've seen that, you realize that this is this the way to go. They have to be able to see it, taste it, use their senses to learn, and then they don't forget, you know. Because this is just good teaching. This is project-based children getting dirty with their hands and creating these objects for them. And so, and that's the real winners in all this, is, is the students. Boys!